So, hello everyone, Monty. Last week I couldn't watch Ark Knight, so this episode here, guys, we're gonna watch both episode uh, 13 and 14 in total, which is like episode 6 and 7 of season 2, right? So, yeah, last week I'm a busy, see my feed in uh, review as well, right? Because my computer like bugged out with the reaction or whatever, but whatever, I digress. Uh, here with Ark Knights, and I believe this is the second to last episode. I think last season only had eight episodes, so I can take a quick check before I watch it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yes, same, same this week as well. So this is the pen ultimate episode. I was like this word, pen ultimate. That's why, that's why I bring it up. I don't want to say that word. Yeah, pen ultimate episode. Uh, but first, an episode six, guys. So three, two, one, and go. But yeah, I was gonna bring it up. It's like pen ultimate episode. Okay, I'm smart. Yeah, I say smart words. Come on. You all know that? Huh. I thought I'd like her. One of my new favorite characters here. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen. See. So, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we had, of course, the whole Mephisto Faust thing. Yeah, I probably could have survived if I wanted to. I assume that happens in the game, of course. I assume the whole uh, zombie ice thing happens there, definitely. Open recording? No. They had opening moment there. Recent to find. Yeah, it hasn't been opening. Oh, Betty's brother again. That's Sasha. Is it Ma? What's Sasha again? Maybe it's her in real name. Hmm, maybe. But yeah, so I haven't played the game, guys. I should do it one day. One game I should play that people said, which is probably popular too, right? It's called uh, Honkei as well. Yeah, I should play more of this. Uh, the, the amazing Chinese game coming, taking over. No, but they're all really well done, man, of these games. Uh, of course, Gears Impact, I guess, is the most popular one, right? I would say Gears Impact is the most popular. Uh, Gears Impact I have played, yeah. That game I have played for maybe like... I don't know, 40 hours maybe? I don't know, I played, you know, for the first weeks or so. Uh, and that was after. So that's the only one that I really spent time playing of these new uh, popular games, i say. Um, yeah, I can't really play in other games. That being said, you know, I used to play a lot of, not just like Chinese games, but also Korean games and more, I think I was a kid, definitely. Like Maple Story and so on, yeah, definitely played uh, Ragnarok Online and so on, yeah. Played a lot of those games back in the days, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's a confront. But yeah, we haven't still really fixed the whole Ice Queen thing. I mean, I mean, both the, the evil female characters are kind of left, right? Both of them. Both Heat and Ice, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. This is probably like a new arc song, maybe. Since he lost there. Yeah, here we go. Why do you even keep fighting for? What's wrong with you people? Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of negative. A <laughs> bummer. Yeah, she's kind of like. Yeah, Rhode Island. <laughs> State of Rhode Island. Yeah, uh, of course, ultimate people. She's kind of a depressing character. Yeah. No, we don't have a. No, we don't have a misunderstanding. I disagree with her. Yeah, it's a little bit like. No, we don't have a misunderstanding. I think she's wrong. Yeah, it's like, no. I understand it perfectly fine. I just hate her. I was like, no, I, just, I understand what, what she's saying. I just disagree strongly with it. Uh, 
She she's probably is this like I don't know sulky character the whole game. I mean, you need to have one of the of the female characters being all like I hate everything. You need to have one cat on the press right? Um, I don't know what it's called in the Darius, but you know you have to assume the Darius angle and so on. It's obviously a Darius like I'm always gloomy and depressed right. There has to be a Darius. Yeah. It's just like oh, it's just like everything and uh, you know. Um, if you have like a few hundred characters, someone needs to be that character, right? Um, uh, because Shen, of course, though. Oh, she's his best girl, man. Shen is best girl, yeah. Hoshigami's wife, and Shen is best girl. What is this? What is this called? I'm gonna go a bit here. Uh, it's like uh, Uts Utsudera. It's like depressed there, I guess. Utsudera fits me like a cat that is depressed and crazy, though. Uh, hopeless. Hmm. So why don't we have Salty as a... Because they have like Salty as an example, but she's more like a Yandere, and it's like a psychopathic character. But Utsudera is said to have tragic experience that would make them sad. Yeah, I guess... Hmm. Men her. I'm stuck at this thing now. Okay, so men have like innocent depression. But yeah, I guess the right word. Or more for like a lion. Oh, he's definitely Utsudere. Yeah, <laughs> Rei. Yeah, Utsudere. Okay, guys. Utsudere. She's Utsudere, I would say. She's depressed and gloomy. Yeah. She's just like, yeah, whatever. Nothing matters. Yeah. We're just gonna lose her anyway. Oh, here we go. But now Shen is gonna. Okay. Hmm. The sewers? This is the first time I watch it with subs. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I watch it with subs. Oh, they're all in the sewers? Oh, it's like in Futurama. Yeah, they're all in here in Lugman. It's like, it's like Futurama 9. Ooh, look at that. 9, Sean. She also had dragon, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it reminds me of like Futurama, right? you've seen, you know, uh, in Futurama, all the mutants or whatever, right, they live in the sewers, yeah, they all get thrown down there. Uh, and also like the Murlocs in Marvel, I guess, a little bit, at least, so, yeah, the OG Murlocs are living in, like, New York sewers? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like, oh, here we go, Black Cloaks. That's quite literal. <laughs> yeah. I figured out who those black people are. Black cloaks. Yeah, it's like yes, they just call them black cloaks. Yeah, they just they covered in black cloaks. We call them the black cloaks. Like, that's yes, that basically is exactly how they look. Uh. Hmm. To the dragons. It's a very focused on uh, Lungman. But like I said, I mean, I guess that this. I mean, Long Longman is obviously Hong Kong, right? And I was gonna guess you guys, you can tell me come below, but I, I'm guessing this game is very popular in Hong Kong. <laughs> That's. I'm just throwing it out there, but I'm like, you know what? This game is probably has a lot of players probably in Hong Kong, right? It's like a million people playing in Hong Kong or something. Yeah, it's like super popular Hong Kong probably. It's probably, it, it could even be where most people that play this game lives, right? Um, I could see Hong Kong having a huge percentage of the players. I don't see everyone, but I'm saying like, you know, potentially the highest uh, population of, of a city that plays uh, the game or something. Uh, what's this character with the dagger? Have you seen him before? I, know, I have to admit, I don't I forgot about it otherwise. Huh. Uh, not a wolf. No, who's that? Fake? <gasps> oh. She's a wolf though, I think. The girl... What the fuck? Yeah, she has, she has wolf ears. And she's sniffing her. She's probably a... Uh, some kind of dog or a wolf or something. Oh, Ilya's daughter. I 
value traitor. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, she found them. She's like, I finally found you. I feel it's more like they found her. <laughs> Red. That's what it's called. Huh. But you can. I think she's gonna lose this fight though. <laughs> <laughs> it's very like revenge tell. If you live by for revenge, you will yeah you will die by revenge. Oh, she got what's her power? Like a miss or something? If you think I'm watching a narrative, she's like breathing out. Yeah, she's like when, when somebody throws out a mist breath. Oh, and then it was like, what's her power then? Summon. But that, that to me feels so narrative. Someone is like you know, oh yeah, I'm gonna breathe out like ten thousand. <laughs> like a mist storm of sorts. And the powers are what? A mechanical stuff? Yeah, what is she? Oh, she got like a mechanical dragon thing on her back or something. Maybe she's solving that. Man, she's getting owned. Man, this is a good animation though. This is probably the best animated part of the season. Her eyes and so on? Yeah, it's extremely well animated. Yeah, this... I think it's a saver though, but man, this is... Mons... Okay, yeah, it's got like, like monster with like a tree instead of a mon... Yeah, I get it. It's funny. Oh, she died then? No, she's fine. But okay, so why is she not uh, ending it for? I don't know. Oh, I see. It's like, you, yeah. It's like, I can't kill her. Yes, exactly. It's like, he was my friend, I can't kill his daughter, right? Oh, so the, the monster is the one. I see, so the fa her father made the monster, probably? It feels like, yeah, the fe it feels like that's the, the actual monster is the one that... I feel like this is coming out from like a side story that I haven't said. Honestly, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, she's me, so yeah, I, mean, I remember that, like, from that season, but it's a little bit like, yeah, it is like a side I feel like I need to know more about these characters. The fact this is building up how last it ended. Honestly, it's a little bit like, we haven't talked about Misha and so on in like eight episodes or whatever, yeah, it's a little bit. Or six episodes, or whatever. Hmm. I also have the best animated part of the la of this season. Last season still has the best one in the desert. Yeah, yeah, the last episode is the best season when they all jump to the desert, right? That's really well done. When they all like just you know, jump down like that, uh, I'll say it. I was called the dunes, I guess. Yeah, the dunes. Yes, that's a good word for it, yeah. The dunes. Yeah, why not do it? I guess it's some kind of like, uh, I knew her dad or something. Something like that. Yeah, she says it in her coat, right? I can see her name is just red. I think it's the first time I see you, right? I don't even see it red before. Yeah, I couldn't recognize red. But what is she? Like a wolf, probably, right? Maybe mean, she can smell her. Wait, then you Google red, you get like a man first. What? There are more than one red? Why would I get... So it's even an image of red. What? Yeah, so you have nine... Was she like Prodig Red? Okay, so her name... Okay, her in-game name is operated as Prodig Red. So red is not a character. Okay, and then you have Prodig Red as well, right? But she's a wolf, right? I would imagine so. And then, yeah, her... Casual, like, kind of. Yeah, that was a confusing. It's like two characters named Red. <laughs> yeah, probably Red and Red. But okay, yeah. Oh, 
I gotta stay here. Oh, it's gonna be really sad now. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sad now. It's like my mom told me I can't leave or something. No, it's a dad, but yeah, like it's gonna be one of her. It does feel like a trap, though. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Using the yeah sight. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna like. Oh, the kid? No, she managed to. Oh, I know she's surrounded though. She fell for the most obvious trap ever, though, honestly. <laughs> yeah, she was like a little girl sitting in the middle of a room, he's walking straight into it. Oh, this is back, of course. She's gonna save her because they're like uh, sundering romance or something. <laughs> yeah. Come on, she's gonna save her now when they had this like argument earlier. They're, they're basically besties now, you know. They're, they're like, depressed best friends or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. She's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, kid. She's fine. She's just really depressed. Yeah, she's just like, she's just really depressed about this stuff, you know. She's getting owned all the time, yeah. Um, that honestly was like the most obvious, like, yeah, she's just like, oh, here's one person, one kid being like, save me, stranger, <laughs> in the middle of the room, in like a dark room, you enter straight into the room and they get surrounded by like 12 people or something, it's like, come on, and she even knew it, she was like, I know you're behind me, yeah, like, maybe she should have thought about it a little bit before, she could have like, you know, attacked the first set up from the outside, right? Of course, she's like, this could be some sad backstory of like my parents. Like. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much, it's so much like bro, oh, girl math. But you know, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's not like a bro, what's the difference? It's like best BFS, yeah, girl math, something. Honestly, it wasn't worth it all. It's like, it's, they're not bro mathing, right? But you're kind of having like a slum depart, yeah. It's like BFS, now she learns her, her backstory. It's like, ah, oh, come on, I'm sorry, I insulted you earlier. And it's like, ah, oh, I'm sorry, girl. I didn't know you had a sad backstory. Come on, it's kind of like that, you know. No, you're becoming besties, right? That's what you keep saying, yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry I, you know, I'm sorry I mocked your family's ass here. You know? I thought you were mocking me. No, I didn't mean that. Come on, this is basically like a bunch of, you know, females that have been arguing for something silly, whatever. And now they suddenly learn the truth about everyone. And now it's all been a huge misunderstanding, and now they're all best friends for life. Come on, it's what I keep, what I keep saying. I didn't earn your trust to correct me, it's my fault, and oh, is it easy? You keep doing it, oh, I'm sorry about that, bestie, yeah, like, come on. I mean, people are shipping them. <laughs> I'm gonna imagine people ship them, you're great, right? I'm imagining people that are like, Rude 34 and these characters, yeah, they're like, these two are clearly best friends now. Just being sundry about it. Exactly, she is bad expressing herself. Yeah, she's just a gloomy character. It's just a sad person who can't express her feelings, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can't force your feelings, yeah, come on. Play Sean. <laughs> oh, come on! He's like the most obvious thing ever. Yeah. You can't push the feelings. You gotta just understand that she can't just, uh, under, you know, express herself in a good way. Yeah. She's bad at communication. Hmm. Okay. Is this not a flashback? Okay, her iPad is destroyed. No, yeah, she's sad, she can't. Yeah, she can't use her, she can't look at her mom's. Yeah, we're gonna save Doctor. 
I like the one of the name, Mechanist. <laughs> just so, I'm sorry for those guys, you know. All the all the like the operators have cool names, you know, like Bagpipe and Dragon, like Red Dragon or something. Yeah, they all have cool names. And then these guys have like Scout, Ace, Doctor, <laughs> you know, Mechanist. Yeah, they all they, they, they don't have names, they just have the titles. Yeah, it's like I'm the I'm the watch guy, yeah, I'm the guard, yeah, they, they, their names are purely based on like the profession. This guy is a doctor, yeah, and then all the other characters, all the girls have like very specific names like, oh yeah, this person is a code name, two different names, it means this thing, and her actual name is this thing, it means it's a very, like, family long name or something. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, ooh, operation, well yeah, of course, it's on nine with another, right? But yeah, next episode's gonna clearly gonna be about what Nine is doing, right? Hmm. Shen Shan. They're the Yetis. They have ice powers, clearly. <laughs> and she's so hot headed, I like it. And she's turning into one of the best characters, I feel, yeah. She's so immediately hot headed. I wish she get out! <laughs> and it runs away immediately for all the characters. And there's nine. Oh, yeah, of course. I have no homeland anymore. Oh, the Yet is all lost. And Frost Nova, she lost two. I haven't seen her in a while. Hmm. Well, I guess the black. I feel like the black cloaks are gonna be the final bad guys for this season here. Two more episodes to go here. Of course, watching the immediately after this. But yeah, it feels like black cloaks are built up with like secret boss guys that can appear soon. The special unit guys. Hmm. Yeah, I am nobody. Everyone's very depressed, I feel. Yeah, everyone's very depressed. Oh, she got like plant powers? Yeah, I guess she can control uh, plants, right? Hmm. Okay, classic. Classic OP power, right? I mean, it's probably one of the most common enemy powers, seriously, right? To control uh, plant life. But I think it's just like classic as many go ability to have, right? To be able to, like, yeah, summon trees or whatever. It's a very powerful ability in, in basically every enemy, right? I would say so. I would say it's one of the most common powers. Uh, especially in Naruto, everyone claims it. <laughs> especially then. So I think it's, no, it's no after the next episode. So let's review it. Then go to the next episode soon after this, right? But, uh, yeah, I was the meeting with the last scene here. And like I said, right, I do think that... As... Uh, uh, leave a comment below what, what, what you guys think, but... It is, I feel, when I do my Arc Knights reaction reviews here, I feel a little more also, oh, it's not the anime, it's also a video game, right? So I have to kind of think about it and stuff. And I do feel that, like I said, plant powers are very, very common, right? Not only in anime, but also in video games. Um, like the last game I made, no, this unit didn't actually have plant powers eventually, but I designed two units in that game to be like a plant power. So one guy was like a living tree, a friend, they could shoot roots and stuff and so on, right? He could like summon people, he could, uh, he, summon, he could pull in people with his uh, uh, wines, right? And the other guy was like a, uh, how do I explain it? I guess like a herbalist, he could like control, he was like a magician, right? Of trees. Uh, but that's not how it actually ended up in the game, yeah. So that's how I designed them to be at, at, at like the pre alpha so to speak. But then the artist didn't want to make a tree, so he, he got all the powers or whatever. But basically, my point, I think it's very common to kind of have it in animes and in gaming because it just feels like a very classic power, right? I think especially with the druids or what is like a classic, be able to control wines or whatever. It's like that. It's just like a typical power. So I guess it's her power in the video game because that makes sense, right? Uh, in a tower defense, obviously, you can like slow down the enemies or root them or whatever. So I can really see how this can be a typical video game mechanic. This kind of meant earlier that I like to, um, you know, bring it up, right? But yeah, Crown's definitely interesting. Lud Ludmilla. I guess her name is Ludmilla. 
It's spelled like Lewidmila. I think about that not also sub. Her name is like Lewidmila. But it might be if written in Japanese or someone it's like Ryu to be Ryudmila, right? But a typical name actually in Eastern Europe and sometimes in Sweden is Ludmilla. Ludmilla. Yeah. Ludmilla. Ludmilla. That's a pretty common name actually in Eastern Europe. Um in Sweden we had this like famous uh, athlete, her name was Ludmilla. Or is I guess it was dead, but <laughs> she was very famous in like the nineties or early two thousand. Uh was her whatever she was like a sprint she was like general you know athletics like sprinting and i don't know high amp or whatever but she was very popular so yeah that's what i think about ludmilla what her full name is lud if i google it i probably forget now ludmilla ludmilla enquist that sounds like yeah, yeah she's born in russia but yeah her name is like she's a typical sweet athlete yeah, hurdle or so on. Yeah, she was a good different sport. Ludmilla Enquist, or something typical Swedish name. <laughs> um, but yeah, her race is Lupo, right? Sorry, back to the game again. Yeah, her name is Lupo, of course, Wolf and so on. Yeah. But it was the same thing with Troy the Red Rider. She also is like a Lupo, right? Yeah, they're the same. And uh, what's the cat sit then? She's what? Feline, a cat, I guess, right? Yeah, she's a cat girl, right? Yeah, a lot of Feline characters. Nothing compared to Y through though, basically the best wild cat character. <laughs> mm, you can see in her art Elite 2, that's just Summon's monster, right? Uh, yeah, she's like a Mia and so on. Hmm. Doctor and so on. Oh, she redeploys monster? I have to say, it's a, yeah, I have to say, yes, that's what I mean here in the report. <laughs> Sorry if I'm all scared of rain, but I want to see a bit because I haven't played the game, right? Looking at the uh, wiki and so on. It's interesting, okay. So, correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, can sit, she can uh, summon monster, right? And you actually have like a deployable unit. So, I guess, I, I, I didn't know that. I guess, I, I'm going to point that I guess that several characters can summon other units and characters, right? And so on. And she's one of the summons, so she's like a summoning unit, something like that. So she sounds quite special, but I guess a few more other characters also might have it, but... Um, but yeah, she's, I guess she's one of the few, like, summoning characters. So, because her class is, like, ranged, right? So I read, but I guess she's, like, a yeah, summoner. Be interesting. Did you know that? Um, yeah, I didn't know how summoning abilities at all. Uh, hmm, it's cool. No, but, it's, uh, but uh, that's interesting, right? You're watching the game. But that's what is also what is about like, watching this anime. Because I, I like watching it and being like, huh, I wonder how this works in the video game. <laughs> you know what I mean? And try to figure out, like, huh, see, that's probably uh, this mechanic, you know? Like, like I said, oh yeah, she's like using like vines. She can probably root enemies, but I can see how that can. Yeah, she can probably like root and slow down enemies. It makes sense. And then it's like, oh, she can summon monster for. Oh yeah, she can summon her. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like that. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's go over to uh, the next episode, then. episode uh, seven. Watch, watch episode seven, guys. So three, two, one, and go. There we go. Yeah, see in Lungman. Oh yeah, but like I said, that's time. Oh no, they find some kind of Asian... What? Script? Something? What? I don't know. For a quick moment they were like... Yeah, now it's back to the city, but for a quick moment it was like some ancient ruins. They were like, oh no, it's some Asian language in a ruin or something. It's gonna summon a medical beast. They felt very video game. Yeah, you find this thing. Oh, here we go. Amia. Oh, a doctor. This episode is just sort of explosive. What's happening? She was like, Kimi? Yeah, she was like... Oh nice, the whole ground's breaking. Okay, maybe that's what we saw uh, under them then. Maybe they're falling into these ruins. Oh, is she comes jumping in there too? Like frost from the sky? Man, the <laughs> start of the episode is kind of crazy. It's like everyone's happening, but I feel they're gonna... Because the first moment was like some ruins, right? Like some Asian scripture, you know, terracotta army or something. Yeah, now it actually broke the ground, so it feels like they're gonna 
farlig inte är från Asian Hong Kong stuff. Underneath it, right? Um, but after all, that Hong Kong is one of the. Um, I love I love talking about stuff out and <laughs> history in me, but but it's very interesting. I think in a lot of ways um, you can really track a lot of cities and so on, right? Because most cities like Hong Kong and so on, they're located at a very specific place, right? In you know location wise. For example, today I ate at a Bengali restaurant. Okay, so if you don't know what Bengali is, it's like I guess it's Bangladesh today, I guess, but but it's like East uh, India, but it used to be its own country, like you know Bengladesh. Uh, is it today, but Bengali used to be a country, right? And Bengali is located in this country called Bengali Delta, which is like the biggest delta in, on the planet, I believe. It's pretty close to Hong Kong, actually, it's a side order part of the Pennsylvania. But um, basically, most major cities, right, are built on these deltas, right? The river and deltas where they meet the ocean. Uh, for example, uh, let's say the Vancouver Delta, right? That's where British Columbia is, and so on, right? You know, so. You can usually track this old, old Asian civilization right, to rivers and deltas. And Hong Kong certainly is like a, it's one of these old school locations. So I guess Lung Meng would be a similar thing in reality. Lung Meng is based on Hong Kong, so you would have a similar thing, right? Which is based on like, so here we go. Yeah, they're falling in. So this, so Hong Kong would have a similar thing, right? A lot of Asian cities and so on. I'm gonna try to ally up with them. It does feel that these guys are gonna team up against the Black Cloaks, right? I do feel we're gonna have my enemy, enemy is my friend, right? I think so. It does feel like it's gonna be my enemy, enemy is my friend. Certainly, I'm gonna make the brighter. Sorry about that. The core that this is the worst now. I'm watching it on TV right now, so. I mean, in the previous, the first part. I watched it, you know, the, the high resolution episode, right? Um, but now it's the TV here, so it's 4080p or whatever. Yeah, it's a little worse. But I do feel they're gonna team up now. Yeah, he's like, yeah, Alex. Yeah, it does feel like the building up this, like, team up. The two bad against the other bad guys. Probably. Hmm. So Mia know her? Maybe. They had that moment there when they were both like, oh, it's you. Yeah, there was a moment like they were shooting the hand and they were like, oh, is that you? That classic, like, I recognize you, woman. Who's this guy, though? Yeah, this guy is like coming in and being all. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's kind of weird. Who is this guy, man? If you can't see his face, he's just a kind of... I don't know. Ah. Okay, he's hiding something. Hmm. There are some playable male cats right in the game, I think. There's a few of them. Yeah, it's like 10% or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, this guy feels suspicious. suspicious as hell, man. This is Sus, man. He's like, you cut the guys! Yeah, this feels Sus, man. This guy is like, yeah, they're like, yeah, let's be friends or something. They feel super Sus, man. This guy is just like, he's gonna backstab them immediately. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here we go. Is that Frost? Probably, maybe? No, it might be Lung, Lung, yeah, yeah. Ludmilla. Maybe it's Ludmilla. But Frost had that same as she said when she talked to a parent in the last. Hmm. Yeah, she had that scene that she was talking to her parent. Hmm. Something like that. Okay. Are they stuck underneath some more buildings? Does they have to cast this now stuck in the basement? Oh yeah, this doctor. So I see, they're all stuck in underneath. <laughs> yeah, they have to cast it stuck in like a basement or something. Uh, I guess she had like a... Them, I guess it was like her memory. But she did mention a parent, right? In episode two, I think it was? Two or three. Mm, I think so. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but she mentioned her pet earlier. This feels like such a typical scene when you recruit her, though. <laughs> yeah, you guys have played the game. Uh, tell me, do you recruit her after this scene? Because now they're stuck in the basement together, right? And the doctor is stuck with her. And the, the, the devil is like, you know, talk here. You're gonna get to know each other, right? They're gonna become friends now. So he's gonna recruit her. Come on, it's like a, t it's a typical like rec recruit scene in a video game where you're like, you're stuck with the bad girl in the basement for like an hour and then you have to talk talk your difference through. So now she's gonna, like, I respect you and this is your partner, right? This is like a very classic scene when you recruit a bad character. <laughs> yeah, but you can't, when you can't leave, um, you know, when they're stuck with you in a, in a basement or a dungeon or something until your team rescue you, yeah. It's a super classic recruit scene. Oh yeah, she's injured too. He has to help her. That's a candy or something. <laughs> Even more now when he has to give her medicine. Yeah, when he's like feeding her something. <laughs> this is how you recruit every video game, every bad girl ever. It's like, oh no, I gotta have give you medical aid. I don't want it. No, let me die. It's like, no, I will heal you. <laughs> it's like, ah, <laughs> sundering it. I don't want it. You know, and now she's obviously gonna be like, why are you so nice to me for I'm your enemy? Right, now she's obviously gonna join the partner now. This is the most, oh, this is the most cliche recruit scene ever. <laughs> yeah. We're stuck in the together. I will heal you, even though you're my enemy, because I'm a doctor. And then she's gonna be like, fine, I will join your party because clearly now we're best friends. She's Kawaii though, the bunny is. Well, yeah, like I said it earlier, right? Don't you know Amiya? Because I'm always like, if they're the same animal, right? Because she was staring at Amiya, and they both have that thing in the hair. She looks a lot like Amiya, right? She's like Amiya's older sister. That's why I guessed earlier. I guessed like a few weeks ago that she's Amiya's older sister, so that would make a lot of sense if she now then in this flashback. Confirms that. <laughs> I want to be right on this. Now she's giving a sad flashback. Come on. Tell me you're Amiya's older sister. They had that scene when she was like, you, in the, in the before they fell down into the basement. Right? They had that scene like, oh, it's you. She also might maybe not technically be your older sister, but maybe she met her at this place, right? Maybe she met her at this place, yeah. Maybe she was like two bunny girls at... Oh, this is her dad. Yeah, we saw him earlier. Yeah, that's... So Shiva. I want to be right on this thing, come on. She said like you to Amiya, come on. I think she meant the Mia list, probably. Yeah, they were looking at her, right? They're both bunnies. They're so similar. God damn it. She's just like a Mia with white hair. Come on. And of course, she's like a, a hair, right? So you have, you know, the usually a lot. Like, it's like in my home country, Sweden, right? You know, we have, a, we have hairs that are brown like a Mia, right? And then if they live in the snow, they turn white, right? So in Sweden, we have hairs that can change color, right? Uh, depending on the season of the, of the, of the year, right? Uh, and some of them are just white because they live up in Lapland or you know, they live up in the uh, Norrland, right? So, yeah, she feels like she could be a Mia sister and she turned white because she was living in snow. <laughs> Come on, it made perfect sense to me! But I guess her rival is, of course, Fire, fire Wife, of course it is. Yeah, of course she's like, my enemy is that fire chick. Because I'm Ice, she's fire. Yeah, of course, yeah, that makes sense. It's like, yeah, she's my worst enemy. Also to defeat her. <laughs> now, but that just makes us. It's a classic, you know. You can't be friends with the person that's the opposite element, right? If you if you're an ice magician, you have to dislike the fire magician and vice versa. So on. Yeah, you have to dislike each other. Um, so like I'm playing Sky Seven right now. I haven't beat the game yet, but I'm halfway through. More than halfway through. But yeah, I mean that game where you get side quests from different classes, like a class specific quest, right? It's always like empty, so like the, the, the armor guys, they want you to go and defeat magicians. They're like, oh, they have spells to ignore defense points, go and defeat them. Yeah, it's always like, I hate those people. <laughs> Every quest is based around like their, their arc enemies, yeah. They're like, ah, those stupid mages, yeah. Ugh. Oh no, he jumped, what happened? It froze. Oh, oh, oh. Good, of course again, good, sorry. It froze temporarily. No, it's fine. Yeah, her candy is important to her. Yeah, there's a candy here. It's not her. Oh, classic, classic. She better join the party now. You can't, you can't have her not. You can't have her not join the party after this. 
Vi har en recruit till Evil Lamia, come on, gonna redeem her. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like picking up Evil Lamia, straight up basically. <laughs> but seriously, no, they, I mean, I caught it earlier, right? Now they're straight up having like a five minute talk scene. Yeah, they're stuck in the dungeon, like talking for like five minutes, like, here's my life story. <laughs> and it like, gives him, he tells him her, her whole life story, her backstory of like how her dad and her sister or whatever, everything. Yeah, this is my brother, and it's like, this gives her the whole life story. Come on. If she doesn't join the reporter, she's gonna team up at least with, with them against um, Talia or and obviously maybe then the the, uh, the Black Cloaks. Yeah. So now they are gonna team up right to help them to escape and so on. Exactly. Friendship, you know. Masaka. Impossible! They all teamed up together. He's like, that's right, friendship! <laughs> they teamed up! With your, with your, yeah, that's right. Friendship. <laughs> Come on. That was cute. Yeah. She's just like, impossible. They can't work together. He's like, I told you. <laughs> Believe in the power of friendship. Oh, she's gonna fight the man away now. Come on. Amiya is like, Come on, Onishan. We're friends now. Oh, yeah. They had that frost. They had their little frosty cans, of course, earlier. Come on, Frostshan. See? Like, want to join us? Come on, like. She has to be playable. Come on, she has to be playable. Every an episode, I have to Google that. See if she's playable. She's playable. Come on. She's basically like, hey, join us, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. She's your party. Stop being so sundra. Join my party already. See? Come on, girl. It's like, everyone's like, Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> And it's gonna be fun, yeah! It's like... <laughs> See, they're like, come on! <laughs> She's being Sundra! <laughs> it's a classic, like, Sundra. I was really evil, I was a little bit evil, yeah! Come on, girl, we redeem you! Oh, oh my god. Okay, back to Shen, I think. Yeah. Where's Hoshigami, though? Yeah, where's your partner? Back to Xi'an. Hmm. Oh, that was adorable. But that felt, I mean, it was adorable, but it was cliche. <laughs> it was cliche, come on. It was so cliche. <laughs> the whole scene is like, Ah, oh, come on, girl. You know we like you. You like us back. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 no. no. You guys are good at two shoes. Come on. Oh, the panda chick. Oh my gosh, it's Because I know when I did all the, when I did all the tier list, yeah, uh, yeah, this is Panda Ninja character, it's out. Which is adorable. <laughs> Every time she's calling people the angry at them in the phone. But yeah, this this is like a panda chick that is like adorable. But this is the first time you see her in uh, the anime, right? Because yeah, I did all the you know the tea list right for all the characters uh, last year. So I've seen like all I've seen all the characters um once <laughs> at that time then I guess. Put lots of new characters by now. I would assume that there are a couple of new uh, release characters since then. Probably. Sounds about right. <laughs> she has like disappointing look there. It's like, <laughs> God. Oh, she looks so disappointed. Man, she's such a hot shot. Oh my god, she's, she's, she's clearly a hotshot, yeah, like this whole arc, she has been there like, she's the aggressive uh, character, always runs for her head, yeah, she's always like, I got shake it out, she always runs ahead before everyone, and, oh, she's sick still, what's happening, is it too hot, she does your boo, oh, there comes, okay, he looks completely out anyway, yeah, he looks, he looks, he's, he's like mentally out, right, he's like checked out, yeah, everyone's been in. Yeah, they were lost. So we have one episode. Is that five episodes, I think. Oh, it's gonna be the black cloaks, probably, right? In, in the shadows. Because we have one more episode. And I, I, I wanna be right in my prediction, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to encounter the black cloaks in the final episode, right? I mean, my guess at least. Exactly, they probably come here now in this alley. It feels very suspicious now. It's like this shadowy thing in the, in the, in the alley. Okay. Yeah, what did she see there? 
Yeah, don't miss on. Yeah, there's something in the shadows, right? Come on. See, I, I, well, come on. I said it earlier. They, they should have teamed up with the good guys to, and you know, together against this, uh, this shadow people. Yeah, they should have teamed up, right? Now, now it feels more like she's gonna fight before them. She's gonna lose, and then they're gonna have to come and save her, right? Yeah, now it feels more like the good guys to come and save them from the shadow people. That's how it seems now, as it's said. Yeah, they're gonna come in and have to rescue them, right? Now they're gonna stay here, protect, protect big sis. Yeah, they got this like, no, we're gonna protect our sister right there. Unisha. No, but they call her like sis, right? Like a... Like Aniki, yeah. They're like Anesan, basically. Yeah, they're like sis, you know. Reminds me of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, we got Sol. Sol, yeah, Sol. <laughs> Nesan! <laughs> Nesan! This is what it reminds me of. Sol. Cause that to say Nesan all the time. Nesan! Hmm... Yeah, you're on the carrier. Man, these guys are also sad now. They are like, yeah, Sayonara Nesan. This feels like a death flag massive, these guys. Jesus Christ, man, they're gonna stay here. The last two episodes has, or last three, I suppose, sorry, three, have really felt that they're trying to really, like, humanize the bad guys. Yeah, it's a lot about, like, no, we're gonna defend Nesan. Yeah, we're gonna stay here, defend Nesan, and, you know, it's a lot about... I think making the bad guys look like humans, I guess, or whatever, yeah, like humans, yeah, like more, they're good people. Or, in their case, it's like, they're gonna stay here to defend her, right? Uh, because they're like, you know, she's like their big sister, everyone, yeah. Gonna defend the big sister, right, you know? But this is why me is always just like, no, we should have peace, Shen. Let's just be friends with everyone, yeah, let's just be, you know, let's be best this said. I don't know, Shen isn't really into that stuff. Oh, what? Uh, sorry, the timer just... Oh, whatever, yeah, the timer. <laughs> I've, seen, I've never seen it before, I've never seen it before. It just... I didn't touch it, but they have like a button, it's like, you know, restart the last second. So whatever, the timer is wrong, probably a few seconds, but yeah, two seconds, that's it. Oh, whatever. That was strange. That was strange, yeah. Just, just fast, yeah. Hmm. Hey, Pokeball! Man, I feel sorry for these guys now. Wait, is that woman? <laughs> they all look like the same. They all look exactly the same. They were suddenly one of the female voice. Because they all literally look exactly the same. They have like a score or something, but they all look exactly the same. But then suddenly the fifth person had like a female voice. I'm like what? Isn't are they all men? They all look like the same. <laughs> that was Come on, that's clearly a male. Here we go. The shadows are coming. What's happening now then? What's happening now? Yeah, the shadows. Come on, that was said earlier. They clearly should team up with the good guys and all. Everyone should team up together. Yes, yeah, now they're surrounded by the black ops. Yeah, here comes Shen, right? But I mean, clearly, next episode, we're soon have to end it, but clearly these Black Cloud guys are gonna be the final boss of the season, right? I just don't leave them, but come on, it's one more episode, and I would certainly believe that they are... Yeah, now there's a misunderstanding here, so attacking the poor... The poor Ice guys. He might transform now, and they're like... Shen just uh, kills the one. This guy Shen. Oh, suddenly she took it long enough, eh? Yeah. Man, the game turned into really dark a little bit now. When he's like, "Who's on the right side?" Yeah, he's like, "Are we actually good guys anymore? Or are we good or are we evil?" Yeah. It turned into like a really dark moment now, where the good guys like. Took them out even if they were just defending themselves from the other bad guy. Yeah, they were like defending themselves from the other bad guys, basically. Just, I keep saying she just team up with them instead. Like, why would you even fight them? They should just 
ally up with them. It's like, my enemy enemy is my friend, right? My enemy enemy is my friend, I keep saying it. She just... Yeah, but she's like, yeah, it took you long enough to do it faster. She's like, woo! Do it faster next time. It's like, yeah, okay. Hmm. But I think Shen kind of knew this would happen. Yeah, Shen. I think Shen is more. Um, the word I'm looking for. I think Shen is. Uh, Amiya is, is always the innocent, you know, innocent, positive person, right? And Shen is more like. Shen is like, I knew it was going to happen, so I had to do it. Yeah, see, Shen is a very much like, you know, she is like uh, very pragmatic. That's the word for it. Pragmatic. She's like a pragmatic good person. She's like, I had to do it, or else these people got to do the divorce. Yeah. She's just like, I did it because of uh, to be nice to them. Yeah. Shen is doing it out of her goodness, right? But Frost is still being carried here in the dungeon. Okay, is, she, is she playable? I'm gonna spoil myself, but I need to know. Oh, it's it now. And uh, spoil myself. Um, is she playable? Uh, Frost Nova. Here we go. Should the first thing I get is like, should they be attainable? Uh, I don't think that Faust maybe, but yeah, I want Crown Slayer. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like Frost Nova should be playable. She basically was like picked up by the Doctor basically the critter there. Uh, okay, here's another ready post. Why is she a fan favorite? <laughs> See? So, okay, she isn't playable, but everyone wants to be playable. I feel I'm on the money here that she should be playable, yeah. Frost Nova isn't playable, but everyone wants to be playable. I feel I'm on the money here, definitely. Uh, yeah, it does it feel kind of strange. It felt like very pushed that she was going to be playable. If I wasn't... If I was yet the princess one day. If I was playing the game, I would assume she would be critical eventually, because it's like... It is pushed so much that she's just like, oh no, you can join our side on, yeah, you know, constantly. Um, definitely. Oh, maybe later in the game. But yeah, heavily pushed that she was gonna, you know, join them eventually. Absolutely. But is she and Amiya <laughs> related? <laughs> it doesn't, I don't see that they are. I'm looking here at the uh, Wikipedia and so on. They're not related looking at it. They always feel that they, they look so similar to. She used Amiya with white hair basically. <laughs> yeah, I was like, come on, man. They got almost the same. Uh, they almost got the exact same uh, outlook. Come on. I do like Blaze though. She's pretty fun. Blaze is probably the new best. Of the, of the good side, so to speak. It's definitely the most interesting. Uh, character, I would say. Or well, not interesting, but like coolest of the new characters. Yeah, I think, I said last episode too, right? I don't think this is introduced as much of new characters as Lassen did. Which makes sense though, because we could have a bunch of more characters in the first season. But this is definitely has way fewer new characters. Especially on the good side, I feel, comparably like the first season. Um, absolutely. No, but I guess he's playable later. Lame. Very lame. <laughs> I'm never gonna play this game now. I wanna play Frost Nova. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Is it playable? This game is terrible, guys. Uh, no, but it, but, it, but it really felt like this is like, I keep saying, yeah, like, oh, we're gonna shoot him now. Uh, that being said, though, yeah, it was kind of obvious that all, that they were gonna, you know, fight the Black Cloak right, and, and so on. Um, and I guess, like I said earlier, next episode is the final episode, right? And I would be very surprised if the Black Cloaks aren't like the final enemy of that season. Doesn't mean that they actually will like the, I don't know, that might be a much bigger faction, right? But yeah, I would expect them to have like an encounter with one of their leaders next episode as a final. And last season had a really good final episode right, in Desert. Not just from an actual story, but I mean, from like an uh, you know, animational standpoint. It looked better, more characters moving. It, it was, I mean, I think Gareth's biggest enemy looks really, really well, right? But especially that episode was still probably the best episode from an actual animation side of the world. So I look forward to next week, guys. So please subscribe as well for next week. I definitely think that next episode should have probably the highest budget and so on. So it's probably going to make a really good episode. Um, otherwise, I think the episode in the end, though, I mean, Frost Nova's backstory is a one, right, mostly. But, but in the end, I guess it felt that it mostly 
it was like a Shen moment, right? We had a Blaze scene, which is all sad. But like I said earlier, I feel that it actually mostly was about Shen because the action of her soldiers kind of like, okay, but you know, she's doing it because she knows that the other guy, yeah, like she has this kind of pragmatic good view of like, I need to do this thing, or else it get worse, you know. Yeah, she's like, oh, it's like too bad. I, I can only do bad or bad. So I'm doing the lesser bad, you know, lesser of two evils. Yeah, that's for, that's what I say, lesser of two evils. The best thing is like, this is the best decision to make out of this. Well, what I can do here, this is less of this thing. So I'm doing that thing. Yeah, I feel she's like a very, you know, kind of rational good character, right? Where Amiya especially is her counterpart, right? Amiya is very innocent. Yeah, Amiya is very naive, right? Uh, so they're kind of counter opposites and blaze isn't like that at all but blaze is more like hot-headed right yeah she's not really cal calculating she's more like i want to save them yeah she's more like i want to do this thing yeah she's in a way she's also a naive like uh, amia's boss but i think in the same way because amia is more like calculating and then she decides to be naive you know blaze is more like you know in the moment right yeah more instinctively and we're of course shen clearly is way more uh, you know, calm and like, oh, I have a better plan for this thing. So, I think it's interesting. We kind of see the three, yeah, I, I guess like three different perspectives on the same thing. Right? You know, Shannon's like, how can I make it less evil? Blaze is like, I don't care about the plan. I'm just gonna do it now. I'm gonna move, move fast, move now. Let me handle it. You know, I can do this thing. Yeah, more that. And Amiya is more like rainbows and puppies. <laughs> yeah, Amiya is like, it's probably a solution for everyone is happy. Yeah, <laughs> Amiya is that, but. It does feel like I mean, you know, every episode gets more and more depressed, right? Because she keeps trying to like that. But more well, overall, like I mentioned earlier, this season certainly feels like last last few episodes is a lot about what is good and evil, you know. Yeah, it keeps it keeps being with these characters now. We try to humanize them as well. Absolutely. Uh, but anyway, guys, subscribe to tomorrow. We have of course Spike's family. We have the cruise ship arc, right? Uh, which everyone keeps saying is the best arc ever in the anime. So pretty cool. It's about Mama Yor. Uh, and then we have One Piece. I think it's the fifth episode. But it might also be the final episode of One Piece. Of Vano. <laughs> of One Piece, but of Vano. And that to me is a very interesting episode. I mean, I read the manga, of course, and I know how it is a very controversial episode of One Piece coming today or uh, tomorrow or next week. Uh, honestly, I think it's going to be. It's going to be interesting because it was. It, it was Honestly, probably the most second, uh, yeah, the second most hated chapter, I would say, of One Piece ever, when I was in the manga. Like, seriously, everyone hated it. It was incredibly controversial, that chapter. And if you if you read the manga, you know what I'm talking about. I think that, that might be tomorrow, so I'm, I'm gonna see. We're gonna see. It's interesting, because that was a very special episode. Anyway, so you guys have a great day.